மார்கினாலே அந்த டைட்டில்னாலே இட்ஸ் ஏ சீசன் ஆஃப் லவ் இட்ஸ் யூ நோ இட்ஸ் எக்ஸாக்ட்லி ஐ திங்க் இட்ஸ் கோயிங் மை ஃபேவரட் ஃபிலிம் எவர் யூ நோ இட்ஸ் அ பிரேக் த்ரூ வேர் இட் கிவ்ஸ் அ நியூ விண்டோ ஃபார் யூ நோ அ பர்சன் லைக் மீ ஹூஸ் யூ நோ ஃப்ரம் சைனா அண்ட் எஸ் வி டூ ஹேவ் தட் ஹோல் ரேஷியல் டிஃப்ரென்சஸ் பட் அட் தி எண்ட் வி ஆர் ஆல் ஹியூமன் யூ நோ ஸோ தட்ஸ் வாட் ரியலி மேட்டர்ஸ் acting is an art and we would definitely want to explore more and more and keep growing it that regardless of whatever the character that we get as long as it's a really good character and not stereotyped i think it's a extra boost and you know we feel very accepted within the entire environment to me love is basically a, it's a feeling with a choice uh, because you really need you you can love a person but you can you know but at the same time you cannot be with them and that's something which margery also has shown. but the idea of accepting that in a very beautiful and positive manner is very important however things may end always have a very uh, you know warm and well wishing uh, end for yourself and for the other person Hello and welcome to Cinema Express. I'm Chandni. Today we have actor Sheng who was recently seen in Modern Love Chennai. Hello. How Hello, are you? Welcome. I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. So, Modern Love Chennai la Margali you start in it and uh, I should say on this on the te- on the segment or it sort of felt like a testament for love that could heal and you know sort of instill hope in a scarred heart. Uh, so, adha mari or very special சப்ஜெக்டில் டீல் பண்ணுற ஒரு செக்மெண்டில் ஒர்க் பண்ணி அண்ட் வுட் யூ கால் இட் அ பிரேக் த்ரூ ஆஃப் சார்ட்ஸ் ஃபை ஓ ஐ டெஃபினி வில் சே இட்ஸ் அ பிரேக் த்ரூ டெஃபினெட்லி பிகாஸ் இஃப் யூ நோட்டிஸ் தி என்டையர் ஸ்டோரி அப்பார்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஜஸ்ட் கிவிங் த மெசேஜ் ஆஃப் சியரிங் ஆர் யூனோ செரிஷிங் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி மூமெண்ட் அண்ட் பீப்புள் அஸ் தே கம் அண்ட் கோ ஃபார் மீ ஆஸ் அ பர்சன் ஆஸ் மில்டன் தே we did not specify or you know stereotype on terms of okay he is a chinese anglo chinese who could speak tamil as such which usually would happen and it was very beautifully taken and written and i'm glad to be a part of it so you've been in the industry for a while right uh, i think you did your first film in 2014 yes uh, irumbu kudure yes uh, and then rendu uh, moonu padam panirkinga and recent a enga hostel again prime series for you and now margali so how how do you see this journey and you've been getting so much love for margali so if blow our shoulder hard work and aspiration la rail is on a mari thonuga definitely as a blessing madri la feel out because uh, again apart from just the journey now when i talk only about margali i think uh, the blessing here is not just the team also adding on to elirajas music which gave a huge boost for us so it's a huge uh, thank you know thankful uh, and gratitude towards myself and to everyone who's been showing all the love yeah i remember in one of your interviews i saw uh, you said how elai rajas music had to elevate the uh, performances the story the emotion overall so on the experience abhi uh, so uh, the catch was uh, our director akshay sundar he did not tell us that elai raja is going to you know come and you know compose the music for us he just said it's going to be on a very uh uh leraja theme le konja lighta na move avon te abdinte sonanga and then hence that whole you know uh piano scene yeah. so we had uh leraja's bgm music uh you know which was taught to us and then we were just practicing that and we were playing that but when the end product came out I don't know I think it was just you know I was just speechless even I was at Akshay's place and avanga kekumode idla irukke indra kekumode romba speechless ah irundha enna solradhu nu kuda theriyama I was like idu namo padama abadi dhaan feel aachu so it's a beautiful feeling right and uh, you play milton and in the whole kadhiye or school romance uh, late school romance of sorts it's it's not almost like you playing your age you playing a younger version right appo and the mari or character load a shoe la to get in what sort of preparation you had to do and references are there in which ha ma definitely uh, so idu vande milton i was something 
uh, or someone who I could totally relate to because that was me when I was a school kid. Mm-hmm. I was an extreme introvert, mm-hmm. uh, you know, back in school. Uh, for me to enact and, you know, come back to the same phase, I needed someone who I could, you know, relate to, who I could observe. And uh, in order to, to do that, obviously the team, we had workshops, acting workshops. Akshay Sundar had helped us and the entire AD team, you know, the Australian Direct- Direction team, they helped us with it. But there was something still missing, which I felt. And I had my younger brother, who was also, you know, in this whole teenage phase. So I start observing him. And the, hence, you see Milton, the first half of Milton, where he's silent, he holds his hand like this. He just, oh yeah, he bows down and everything. It's completely my younger brother's uh, characteristics, which I've, you know, implemented in Milton. And then the second half where he opens up and calls uh, Jasmine to go out and everything is completely, you know, me back in college. Hence, that's how Milton was formed. Right. And uh, one of my personal favorite scene was the finale conversation uh, in the climax. That that was it was very organic and you know it almost felt like on the number of teenage time we'd have butterflies in our stomach. So Adamari and the tell me how the whole scene was choreographed and um, what all you had to do to get that emotion right. Uh, so that was actually shot uh, you know the second time in a new location. Earlier when we shot it, it was a completely different one and I think it didn't come out as expected. So Akshay, you know, he worked with the team and he made sure to, you know, get that reshoot again. And he came down to me and to Jasmine, whose uh, name is Sanjula, to me and her and described how he wanted the entire feeling, how would that. But I think the environment itself was so amazing on the day of the shoot. Uh, definitely, it was super sunny. There's. Uh, was it in Chennai? Yes, everything was Seven. shot up okay. in Saint Thomas Mount, and it was so beautiful. When we sat there, I think even immediately, me and ja- uh, you know Sanjula, we got into the role. We literally felt like, yeah, she is Jasmine, and I'm Milton. And uh, even those lines of it, you know, where I uh, li- pretty much just say, "Niyalo agar," you know, I don't know, and all. So when I praise her and talk about her beauty, it kind of reminded me of very nostalgic feeling and it was so relatable to me. And I was wondering and, you know, uh, excited to see how people will relate to it as well. Right. And that's how it was prepared and that's how we came forward to it. Since you've been in Chennai for so many years, how do you, uh, how is modern love Chennai overall very special to you? Because Chennai connector and especially on the segment of St. Thomas Mount predominant location. Uh, how, how was it special that way? Um, uh, the title of the season know, of love, season yeah. of love it's, you know, it's exactly, it, uh, so it's a beautiful, you know, just the title itself is so uh, warming for me, uh, heartwarming for me. It, it's going to be one of my, you know, uh, favorite and the best. I think it's going to be my favorite film ever, uh, because, uh, you know, it's a breakthrough, uh, where it gives a, new window for you know uh, a person like me who's you know from china and uh, obviously it breaks that entire barrier of stereotype so i think coming future it's going to be beautiful uh, with you know having much more beautiful opportunities and uh, yeah mm-hmm. just super excited so uh, since you brought this topic up about stereotype or a region like or actor uh cinema portrait there is a set stereotype. Even if you are talking about it, even if you are talking about it, you can do it. Do you think, uh, do you believe in this um, destiny of sorts, the right time, the right vision with respect to Margaret? Oh, definitely. Uh, because, I, I again, a huge thanks to Akshay because I, the first time when I met Akshay, you know, in one of our friends' place doing a Diwali party, he did mention, we had a really good talk and he did mention saying that, or I want to call you know, I don't want to give you this whole stereotype, you know, uh, rules. I think you have something which we can make a really good use of. And 
that's how you know he reached out to me with margari and it's and hence now you can see the entire product and you know all the love and support that we are also getting for it that's interesting la na recent i read uh, one of uh, mushilo's recent interview she said how recent times la uh, she's she's got projects that doesn't have a character uh, explained as a asian actor adu mari or characterization illama she's getting roles and she she thinks that's very liberating for her because she wants herself to be identified as an artist who's who's who has this ability to put herself in any show so with marvelly for you now how do you think it will you know pave way for your future uh again uh like i said breaks you know i completely uh, uh, you know agree with michelle as well uh you know this is something which we would like to be accepted by the audience and obviously a perspective to look at you know from the director's view uh since yes we do have that whole uh, racial differences but at the end we are all human you know so that's what really matters so just because i am a nigerian or a chinese or let's say from northeast or anyone or even just indian mm. we would obviously want to you know explore different and new opportunities when it comes to uh, such roles mm. and uh, acting is an art and we would definitely want to explore more and more and keep growing it, it regardless of whatever the character that we get as long as it's a really good character and not stereotyped i think it's a extra boost and you know we feel very accepted within the entire environment right absolutely. so um, to sort of achieve this uh, ambition of you know getting uh, bringing up more non stereotypical roles which gives more importance to performances what do you think would be ideal for the makers to do uh, maybe from your perspective edha yosichirpingla idu panna romba stereotypical la irukadu abdingana so it's a very tricky uh, and a thin line over hmm. there uh, because again it goes both ways you know not just from the director side but even from the other person for example if a director comes and reaches out to me the breaking the ice breaking part is the language which i am able to speak in tamil tamil la pesum mudiyum so adnalad it becomes easier for them to explain and make me understand and you know get the best so i think it goes both ways you know just bringing in someone who looks different and making them speak in tamil it becomes very frustrating for them because it's a new language and right. uh it's not only about the language even they should express that mm. with words and mm-hmm. uh you know face so it's a two way thing and i think uh it's a team work at the end right. that's what really matters yeah. and of late almost everyone has been in awe of your tamil speaking skill so tell me about how you came here and how has it been oh yeah so uh, until the age of 18 or 19 i didn't know tamil i could understand but i couldn't speak all i could say was vanakkam anna evlo anna anga na pono na you know all those things uh, small uh, cheat codes but uh, before joining college is when you know i started doing a lot of uh, part time jobs and everything just to break through my introvertness and uh, i'm always very keen about learning different languages when i was a kid i used to speak around 7 to 9 languages so tamil was the only thing which was missed out so i really want to break through and uh, yeah usually you know you started learning. i started learning tamil when did you move to uh, chennai from chennai uh, when i was 7 yes okay. i moved to chennai when i was 7 years old so you we went here you went up here. here so that's what many of my friends or you know when they introduce me he, they literally say he's a chinese samian oh okay you know uh, it's a very uh, heartwarming and uh, welcoming then how's been Ch- chennai to you it's a beautiful it's home i can definitely say uh, chen you know chennai is home and to be a part of model of chennai it's mind blowing it feels oh yeah if how i da we didn't tell you stronger and how uh, on um, also in terms of people being all with my tamil it's always the first thing but i think uh, i start off with tamil uh, you know in conversations with anyone who i meet even if they say hi how are you i literally i start with tamil so that it breaks the ice because the challenges even many people they don't know 
how to approach me in term or how to you know converse with me in terms of just my racial differences but i think learning tamil kind of made it easier it's, you know it's your step up it's my it. step up for you know uh, building mm. a bridge and network around you know and relationships so yeah. right and how about acting when did you think that okay this is your calling i never thought it was my calling to really? be honest okay it started with uh, a short film called prank call to the <laughs> so i believe or prank maza feel at it and uh, same goes with pretty much every project which never i get a call from uh, I I literally think it's a prank. Even Akshay when he called me for Margery it was around 11:30 11:45 or 5 late night. Call pani macha you know remember we met in the Maru project at Kanida lead. I'm, I'm like obviously 11:30 at night we want to sleep so I'm like macha don't play a prank like this. <laughs> Phone away. And he was literally serious and then he told me why don't you come to the office you will understand everything i'll explain everything when to tyagaja kumaraja oda sir oda office sat with the team and i was you know all stuck because it was happening and i even doing the shoot you know many people uh, you know offset who would you know just the bystanders who would watch they wouldn't recognize me as an actor over there okay they would uh-huh. think okay he's just uh, you know they didn't they obviously it's an unexpected uh, yeah vision right so i'm really glad that akshay saw that and for me it did feel a uh, slightly uh, you know okay people are not able to you know uh, accept me or see me hmm. as a lead actor or a, you know as an actor within the project but i was like it was a tricky part right so mm. i was like okay it's going to be a surprise element for many of the audience and i took it obviously in a positive note and you know i still remember three guys they came forward to me and they were like oh, who's the main actor okay <laughs> they came and they asked me that i was like sorry i don't know <laughs> probably uh, they have a female lead over there i play a friend character is what i all you know always keep saying mm. until the release so that's how the entire journey was going but apart from that, the team was amazing so how liberating is it for you to play a lead uh, also being a non tamil or a tamil padathla tamil segment i think the last time you know that's also again um, when i when i mean uh, liberation it it means breaking stereotype exactly yeah breaking the expectation you said how akshay was a unexpected visionary I I really I found it really interesting so yeah uh again from uh my personal you know dream or you know understanding and wishes that we have I always thought if dear go on there and uh when ever I think of that it reminds me of little john hmm. uh, yeah. you know 80 or hmm. uh, 90s I sort see. of movie where jyotika ma'am was there and then there was a fun who you know who played a really cute character mm. and so it reminded me of that and as like uh, after that there was never any other you know movie or film which came with a foreigner who play a lead or a main character kind of scenario and for me to be a part of it and to break that ice all over again after a decade it feels amazing i think uh, i really i'm praying and hoping that breaks this ice not only just for me even for many other really talented art you know actors and uh, professionals out there because i've known so many people and everyone's struggling we're all struggling we start off with that and the only uh, you know i think complaint that we keep i've been hearing is they keep shoot up in us they keep giving mm-hmm. us this mm-hmm. kind of roles yeah. and i think i can relate to it but again it's just a matter of perspective and i really hope it breaks the ice for so many you know million others who are going to you know yeah step into the yeah. tamil industry you're a hope for them now uh i wouldn't say i'm a hope but i'm glad to be a part of part. Uh, you this know journey. of this journey yeah. because uh, uh, i think if that breaks uh, kollywood will be the next hollywood malana then if yeah yeah and uh, you also think that idu vandu it also lead way to 
rightful multicultural representation in cinema? Oh yes, definitely. Uh, I think in Bollywood they've already started doing that mm. a lot. There's Chang, who's a singer and an actor. Uh, he he did Model of Mumbai, so he he has done a couple of films himself over there, and he has done a couple of shows. Then there's Saini Gupta, who's also a northeast actress. And she she was in four more shots web series, and she's been doing great. So I did get to meet these wonderful people when I went to Mumbai for our uh, you know launch event, and both of them. The first thing what they told me was, I'm really happy to see you know that uh, our you know racial people are breaking and getting into the entire Indian film industry. Because if we can do that, because India is a very diverse culture, and it we need to you know grow that and cultivate it more. Because we have so many like millions and billions of people staying in this country, and we need to show each and every different aspect, and obviously accept each and everyone as they are. Mm. So I'm very happy to be a part of it. Lovely and. Uh... Uh, you you once said that uh, audition for the kunjo hesitate panuvinga abdin how did marley happen audition meda adu irundicha or and why is it so that you don't usually try for it yeah uh, the reason why I, uh, avoid or i little hesitant with auditions is because again it gets stereotyped a mm-hmm. lot uh, so that's you know the, again the main challenge over there uh, and with margery as sort I actually didn't have an audition or, uh, uh, as such, but you know, on the first day when I had to go to the office, they did share the script. They we had a script reading with the entire team, uh, and they narrated, and they also took a you know few clips and bits of it where uh, Akshay showed it to uh, Kumar Das sir, and he looked at it because again it's a new vision, and when he saw that Kumar Das sir immediately said, "Perfect, these two look perfect." start panning and that's what I so you know it's very uh, nice to hear that from you know a big director like Kumar Das sir because he's very humble as you know as person even in our press release i did say he he didn't show you know he's so humble i didn't even realize that his presence was there it was just like talking to any other person as such and i really love you know personality such as that Margery helped you to break out of stereotype, but uh, a few projects that you did previously uh, did sort of, you know, reiterate those stereotypes. So, um, how did you feel while doing that? And going forward, forward, do you see a hopeful path ahead? So, uh, in terms of stereotyping, again, uh, I hope I'm not contradicting myself, but it's more about it's something we cannot ignore. The racial differences are always going to be there, uh, and. it is a need for if it is a need for a script then definitely you know i will take it and if it adds value and i've done projects like under where you know i play a security guard for hipopadi and all and again the reason why i took it up was also uh, the team uh, the director you know uh, when he reached out to me he was very uh, open he made me understand in terms of uh, what or the importance of it how it's going to act and hence that's really important so what moving forward what i would also like to do is have balance of it because at the end of the day both are artwork you know both the projects that i take whether it's a stereotyped or non stereotyped it's going to be a you know work mm-hmm. of my own so that's what made and led me to you know accepting those projects and the script and the team really matters is what i feel because the way how you've been treated off set and on set right. is very important for right. a actor and i uh, touch wood <laughs> until now <laughs> uh, i've been working with beautiful and wonderful people who you know who are very young in heart and very accepting so hopefully i still get to work with you know many more uh, such people um so you said you're okay to do stereotypical roles So stereotyping is a broad uh, concept. Like I agree, you also said that rightful representation is required. But Anna, what is okay and what is not okay? Because I think it's sort of a thin line, Mary. So could you just brief on that? So uh, it again, it's like I said, you know, the statement is right there. You just gave the answer. It's a very thin line. Uh-huh. Uh, what makes the difference is the script and the character 
in terms of you know what kind of value it adds to the script mm. so that's what really matters uh, in per se so like you know going back to all the uh, complaints or you know uh, experiences that i've heard and from different people it's again it, they've just used us just for this comical thing they've just used me you know for this action kind of scenario and it just for like a glimpse of it so and we don't add value you, that you disappear yeah we, you know the character disappears so uh i think that's what is the difference here and if you look at even the projects which i've done uh let it be even unbearable anger hostel or margery all these added value to it and i think that's what's really important and it the genre may differ it may be a comical one it can be an action it can be a drama love crime anything but what matters is again the representation of you know that person so that's what makes brings a difference it can also you know again another example could also be you know uh, a woman can be uh, stereotyped as a homemaker and yeah. at the same time the same character uh, if it's been submiss you know submissive or oppressed that's a it, problem it's a problem. Yeah. so it's a very thin line but i think uh, what uh, matters is the presentation how we are presenting them and what kind of value that character adds with modern love chennai um having worked in one segment um what is your take away um it it can be uh, you know uh, you know something that will help you in sprucing up your skill acting skill that about that about just the idea of love how has it redefined for you mm. that's an uh, interesting one so in regards to maage the takeaway her is again it made me relive my entire you know life all over it all the beautiful moments uh that i have lived in the past and experienced in the past and uh, as on a acting per se uh it's definitely you know helped me touch that uh meter which we all you know have been eager to you know uh, reach out to so again the different genres we have action we have thriller and you know we have this uh, crime and so on and i'm a huge uh, psychological crime fan so uh, you know it has kind of explored and uh, opened even my own uh, perspective towards uh, me learning and growing because we there's always you know uh, a learning uh, what to say sorry there's always a gateway to learning new things each and every day and moment so next up i'm definitely going to you know focus more on that whole acting uh, skill probably reach out to some acting coach to you know touch those different uh, emotions that i can explore and present them to my directors and the audience about uh, the idea of love and how it has to be oh in idea of love uh, so to me love is basically uh, it's a feeling with a choice uh, because you really need you you can love a person but you can you know but at the same time you cannot be with them and that's something which margery also has showed but the idea of accepting that in a very beautiful and positive manner is very important however things may end always have a very uh, you know warm and well wishing uh, end for yourself and for the other person so that you don't have to hold on to any negative energy moving forward because you've spent a really beautiful memories and shared that with your with your partner so that has kind of even made me realize and i'm really happy with that lovely and your upcoming projects that you have oh uh, there are few in talks i just recently uh, finished a film called ragutata which is from uh, humbali films uh, and the main lead here is kriti suresh ma'am and uh, the director is suman uh, he is written he is a writer actually it's going to be his first debut in, as a director he he's written family man 1 and 2 he's going to write 3 as well is what i've heard and apart from that uh, he was also one of the co-writers for farzi mm-hmm. uh, where vijay seshwari and shahid kapoor were together so it's a beautiful team and we have a d- our dop is this beautiful being called yamini 
So it's I'm waiting for it. We just finished the project just a week back. Uh, I think waiting for the release date and everything. Lovely. And uh, you said you are also interested something your inclination is towards um, crime and psychological thrillers. With respect to roles, what kind of roles do you look forward to? So in terms of uh, roles or opportunity or you know opportunities moving forward, I'm very open with it. Uh, you know stereotyped or non stereotyped kind of thing but if it adds value to the script right. is what i would want not in terms of uh, just okay he is just going to be there mm -hmm. i'll just you know i'm just seen for a bit and then i walk off mm -hmm. i would like to add value as a character like a supporting character i'm not expecting on a main character scenario because that's still not a all long, the time yeah it's going to be a long way you know for that to come up but in terms of uh, my roles, definitely where I add value, uh, whether it's crime or whether it's comedy or anything of that sort, I would like to explore it. Uh, and usually I hope to work with beautiful people. Lovely. And on that note, it was a lovely conversation and I wish you the best. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.